All right, so today I'm going to make some Jadam Wedding Agent. Got my supplies here. Got my canola oil. Um, eight liters of distilled water. I went with distilled because I don't know that my tap water is going to uh, be good enough to not go foggy. So I didn't want to make this whole batch, only to find out that my uh, water was too hard. I got a new bucket. I've got a new paint mixer because my other one is covered in paint. And I don't think that would go over very well. Um, it's nice and shiny. Won't be for long. And down here we have the potassium hydroxide. I just got it from a soap making place on the mainland. It's fairly uh, caustic, so do not get it on your skin. Wear gloves, wear safety glasses, <clears throat> maybe uh, even wear a mask because it, uh, it can irritate the lungs. You don't want to breathe it in. Uh, so here we got a cordless drill. Very nice. Got everything lined up, ready to go. I'm going to post the amounts in the description. Uh, but this is the water. It's 250 mils. And I'm going to pour some uh, potassium hydroxide. You can see it's kind of like a flake. So I'm going to toss that in there. Try and keep the dust down. You don't want to breathe it in, like I say. And I'm going to get that to 320 grams. That's pretty good. Okay. Moving along. There she is. Uh, okay. So I am going to add the water. And then I'm going to add the potassium hydroxide. At such a low amount, I don't think it matters which way you do it, putting water to it or adding uh, the caustic or the uh, potassium hydroxide to it. And I have a lid here to uh, trap the gases because they come out of that bucket pretty good. And uh, yeah, open the door, get some airflow in there. It's nothing too crazy, but uh, the, the vapor, the gas that comes off this is very irritating to the lungs. So do not breathe it in. And uh, as you can see, it's going to start boiling right away. You can see it already. Look at that. That's boiling. So I'm going to swish it around. I'm not going to use a spoon or anything. I can just grab the bucket and uh, swish it around for a bit. Swish it around, okay? It's quite hot. You can actually smell the heated plastic, but it won't melt, so don't worry. So now that uh, it's all mixed in, I'm going to add the, the oil. So there's... First dump of oil, give it one mix. So let's do this. You just toss it in. There's a thousand mil. That's another 800 mil, so 1.8 liters. Okay, let's get drilling. This thing's fantastic. You can go fairly fast, just don't, you know, you don't want to kick it up all over the place. You already see that it's, it's turning milky. It's after two minutes, three minutes, not even. It's just getting thicker and thicker and thicker.
Okay, looking pretty thick. And that's about after about 10 minutes of, of this. I gave the drill a break here and there, but it's pretty tough, so. Um, let's see. There we go, okay. Now we're at a real good consistency there. It's like a, it's like a light mayonnaise, almost like a lard. It's perfect. It still kind of holds form a little bit, as you can see. And that's what you're looking for. So that's after about, yeah, I'd say like 12 minutes. And uh, and there's the final product before you let it stand. And so this is 24 hours later, and it's already hardened. Don't worry about the two different, uh, you know, colors. One's a little bit lighter on the outside. It's it's just um, just a little bit of separation, uh, but it's not a big deal. So this is uh, the water. I added the water, four liters of water. And I broke it up with my hands and then got the drill in and, and uh, slowly kind of mixed it together. You don't want to open that drill up and get it flying because you're going to just have a big bucket of foam. But it's, uh, you can see it's just like a gelatin in the bottom and you just want to break that up. And I, I went and did this over a few days. So I, I came in and I did the, the mixing a little bit for a bit and then I'd let it sit for like six or seven hours and I'd go back and I'd do more and kind of let it dissolve and and then uh, it takes it takes a fair bit to be honest to get it to fully uh, dissolve into the water. So now I've uh, added the last four liters of water and I'm uh, I'm done mixing. I believe looks pretty good. It's like a little science, a little science experiment. So um, now I've got to get that into these four liter, four liter jugs, and um, it's easier just to have a tray under it because uh, it's gonna foam over, so it'll catch it. It's nice and transparent. I'm uh, certainly glad I went with distilled water. You can also do RO water. I actually ordered an RO, a little uh, RO buddy, I think it's called, just for my foliars because uh, I believe that will help me greatly. But there you go. There's four liters. Look at that, eh? It's awesome. So I'm just going to go rinse it off. And there you have it. So that makes uh, 10 liters. I think that's a little bit more than 10 liters, but makes 10 liters roughly of uh, John Wedding Agent. And that's going to last uh, me probably years. And it does get uh, better with age. I believe it gets a little darker, but it's like fine wine. It will get better with age. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something and give this a shot. Be careful. And, uh, yeah, just do it right. Don't mess around with the uh, potassium hydroxide and you'll be okay.